So we've moved out to the shop and are getting ready to start framing in for the, uh, for the roof. So the first thing we have to do is notch out these posts in order to build the beams that go across it. Alright, to sum up what we've done so far, that is, we connected all the posts together up here with beams that go all the way across on both sides so that we have something to set our rafters on. But in order to set rafters, we got to get a ridge beam up there. So our next item on the agenda is to go ahead and get this ridge beam built and then we'll figure out how we're going to get it up there. Stay tuned. next now in order to get a ridge beam up it's the way we've done everything is stand up a, a log tree that we've cut down and we measure it to the height that we want our ridge beam to set on and stand that thing up and strap it to the structure that we're building and then we'll slide the ridge beam up and teeter it up onto the pole at the other end when we get that done so what's about to happen right this minute is we're trimming the little tree limbs off and we're going to cut this pole to the size and or excuse me to the height that we want it. All right, the next step, now that we've got that pole up, we're gonna bring the dump truck in. Yes, I said the dump truck, and we're gonna park it halfway into the shop, and then we're gonna pick up our ridge beam and we're gonna set it up on top of the dump truck. And then, just watch what happens next.
There you go. My question is, what are you going to do when you get it up to the top? What are you going to do when it gets up in there? Uh, no. Stop, shut it off, leave it. And the hydraulics won't let out? No, it's on hold. It don't bleed off. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. Mom's going to have to like drop the camera and be safety first. What am I doing with that? Hey, no, you're just going to die. No. I guess so. No, I think I'm just going to get out of the way. Okay. Now what? That's, that's what I'm wondering. Huh? That's what I'm wondering. Now what? Now what? Time to go boating. Yep. Time to go boating. Now what? Yep. It's time Danger's to over. go wakeboarding. <laughs> All right, so we're back from the lake. No, it's another day. We've devised a plan that we're gonna get this beam up and we're gonna utilize the dump truck as a backup plan, but here's our primary way we're gonna get this up. We've got snatch block or skookum as mom calls it, Nikki, and a rope. So the boys are gonna pull on one end and we're gonna tie the other one around the beam and we're just going to lift this thing up and then I'm going to put the crossbar under and then we have a post that we're going to just, you know, slide the post up underneath and continue to push it up the rest of the way that we need because we don't think that our cherry picker is tall enough. And if camera person looks up, our cherry picker is our excavator, fully extended. And that's how we're going to get it up as high as we can, which is going to be in the neighborhood ballpark of 12 feet. So maybe 13. And then we have another thing on the so, back so side. So what's keeping them from, it's keeping it from sliding down right now is just. Oh yeah. And what's keeping it from sliding off the truck is a primary strap and we have a backup just in case that one breaks. Up front. So that block that we've got up there is to actually stop the ridge beam from sliding forwards. When the ridge beam does slide forwards and that block locks against the um, arms that we have sticking up to hold the ridge beam straight up and down, then it will stop exactly in place that we want it to be. It's been measured out and measured twice and it's good. So fingers crossed, let's do this.